This is Ramalinga Prasad Kuppa. Welcome to my channel, Pharma World. Today's topic is recording of data in batch production record, that is BPR, on shop floor. There are different terminologies to the batch production record. It is called as batch production and control record, BPCR, batch manufacturing record, BMR, or a batch sheet, or a batch record, etc. But the intent of the document is same. Section 2.15 of ICHQ7 prescribes all quality related activities should be recorded at the time they are performed. Let us look, look into this requirement. Section 2.15 says that all the quality related activities should be done immediately after the activity. Recording of data in BPR is one of the important quality related activity. Section 6.14 of ICHQ7 prescribes when entries are made in records, these should be made indelibly in spaces provided for such entries directly after performing the activities and should identify the person making the entry. Corrections to entries should be dated and signed and leave the original entry still readable. This section 6.14 prescribes that the data should be recorded only in the spaces provided in the BPR for the particular operation. Indelibly means the recorded data should not be erased out. It should also identify the person who entered the data. Some unintentional errors may happen during routine operation. Unintentional error is not considered as a crime. It can be corrected by crossing the wrong entry and enter the correct data with signature and date with a brief explanation for the reason for the error. See this example. By error, instead of recording the temperature as 38 degrees Celsius, it was wrongly recorded as 33 degrees Celsius. Then how can we correct 33 as 38? Thirty three can be corrected one way is this, right? See this number, it looks as thirty eight, but as told earlier, error is not considered as a crime, but hiding the error is a crime. It is clear that the data was wrongly written as thirty three by correcting three as eight as shown in this is considered as falsification of data. So it is necessary to cut the number 33 and write 38 and sign with date by the side with an explanation on reason for the error. It is good practice to correct any error like this. There is another question. How many number of times a data may be corrected as recommended? There is no rule for this. For example, if there are too many corrections like this, the intentions are suspicious. Either inadequate training or deliberate actions are the reasons for too many corrections. Section 8.12 of ICHQ7 prescribes critical weighing, measuring or subdividing operations should be witnessed or subjected to an equivalent control. Prior to use, production personnel should verify that the materials are those specified in the batch record for the intended intermediate or API. Compliance to section 8.12 is another important requirement. There should be a signature of doer and checker. Doer is the person who directly operates. 
a helper may support the shop floor chemist but he is not authorized person chemist is the responsible person for the operation because the chemist is the one who is trained for the operation a helper can also sign as a responsible person only if he is trained and the training records are available a checker is a witness a checker is responsible to confirm that the, that the doer did the activity as required witness is as important as a witness in a judiciary court both doer and checker are equally responsible for the performance of the activity section 8.13 of icsq seven prescribes other critical activities should be witnessed or subjected to an equivalent control section 8.13 also recommends additional requirements that all the critical steps be witnessed by competent person the competent person may be the immediate supervisor or a competent colleague who is on the shop floor but remember the checker signature cannot be done retrospectively after some time the activity is done it should be done contemporaneously all these details have to be incorporated in great detail for the sop data entry into gmp documents if you don't have such procedure make it incorporating all these features completely there is a general practice to sign off all the process steps by the checker but the guideline has a flexibility that only critical steps be witnessed so it is recommended to have a detailed list of critical steps to take advantage of this flexibility it is too complex to identify the all the critical steps then there is no choice other than to sign off all the operating steps what is a bpr it is a very important document that describes the exact calendar of events for the entire sequence of the manufacturing let us understand the importance of bpr this record is the entire history of the particular batch from start to finish this is the horoscope of the batch this is the health report of the batch this document completely reflects the health status of the batch based on the review of the bpr decision will be taken whether or not the batch has been manufactured as per the requirement the events include the details of raw materials used in the process equipment used persons responsible for each step the online controls yields at various steps final product output evaluation data and any other relevant data so all the information from these items should be included in the calendar of events of the manufacturing this document is as important as a registration document which is regulated as a statutory document for the objective evidence of the batch of the product this is very important negotiable document for inspectors auditors for review to establish compliance to gmp so it should be recorded with honesty and integrity so integrity is the main requirement while recording the data in bpr let us see how the data recording should be done in the bpr the bpr is specific to a product and specific to a batch number never use a bpr specific to one batch to the other batch if the particular batch was not executed return the unused bpr back to qa it is something like the employee code number same employee code number cannot be allotted to the other person record the data only in the spaces provided record time in space provided for the time from and to quantity charged in the specified column 
if the unit of measure is already reflected in the column you don't have to write separately the unit of measure sign in the doer column who performs the job and sign in the checked by column who witnesses the activity being done record the data contemporaneously immediately after the activity this is important this reflects the integrity of being contemporaneous use always a ballpoint pen for indelible recording preferably in blue and record the data clearly use a blue ballpoint pen for recording guideline does not really say to use a blue ink it says that the data should be indelible that means it cannot be erased so don't use the pencil to record the data the data recorded by pencil can easily be erased without any big effort then you may get a doubt why only blue color can it not be black advantage of blue ink is it is original and if a copy is taken you can differentiate the original and the duplicate copy also the entire document appears aesthetically uniform use of gel pens or ink pens should be avoided totally the red the data recorded should be clearly readable without any ambiguity recorded data should be readable by all as same data no ambiguity it means the letters or numbers should be clear not to offend the doctors or physicians the record should not be like a medical prescription which can be understood and articulated only by a pharmacy chemist record the time from a common safely protected wall clock which should be displayed conveniently at the workplace the wall clock should be protected from any potential vapors or fumes coming out from the production areas it should be located so that the time could be noted comfortably don't record time from your individual wrist watches it may vary from one person to the other record the details of the equipment used in the process for that particular step you can tick mark the equipment used if there is already a provision in the bpr while recording date and time use a uniform pattern like dd mm yy or dd mm yy yy instead of a slash hyphen or a dot may also be used use any format but make sure that all use the same pattern this gives uniform and aesthetic look for the document you can use a forward slash a simple dash mark or even a full stop dot but it should be practiced in the same way by all use 24 hour pattern for recording time for any single digit affix zero before the digit example one should be written as 01 this is required as the process will go round the clock it is easier and effective to understand the flow of timing when the time is midnight at 0000 hours write the next date also there when there is a step to check the cleanliness of the equipment record clean in the space provided for the activity done as objective evidence don't put a tick mark for this you have to write clean to establish that you checked the cleanliness of the equipment and it is found to be clean while charging materials record the unit of measure like kilograms or liters as discussed in earlier slide 
if there is no provision in the weight column it is necessary to record the unit of measure record the time from and to of the activity record the exact time taken for the operation never write random or illogical figures for example if 500 kilos lot of a raw material has to be charged into a reactor manually how much time it would take it may be more than half an hour so be logical while recording when there is a qc clearance required for the process test follow the next step of the operation only after the result is obtained from qc in writing if there is an in process test for the for which you have to wait till the qc results are obtained in writing start the next step only after the receipt of the qc test results slip never record the same timing for multiple operations at a time at different places example the operation prescribes open the bottom valve of the reactor for collecting the wet slurry into the centrifuge in this case main reactor is in a semi controlled area and the centrifuge is in a clean room if you record the opening of the bottom valve in the clean room at the same time for centrifuging it is too good to be true it takes some time to enter into the clean room with restricted entry procedures so the actual time taken should be recorded this is a typical case you have to account for all the timings from exit from the semi controlled area into a classified area following all entry procedures of clean rooms so record the exact time taken for the sequence if there is a deviation in the operation delays in operations changes etc record the deviation number in the remarks column mostly this column will be the last column of the each step if there is a deviation you don't have to explain the details of the deviation in the bpr only record the deviation number in the remarks column for more details of deviation handling the referred document may be looked into as a separate document don't leave any blank spaces in the bpr put a dash mark whenever there is no data to be recorded in that space this is important never leave any column blank if more blank space is left over put a z mark covering the entire unused blank space you can cross the entire blank page with a big z mark let us see other important care to be taken for bpr never damage or tear the bpr this is a crime to damage a gmp constitutional document this is a law as far as manufacturing activity is concerned in case of any specific pages of bpr are accidentally damaged report in writing to qa department and request for duplicate copies of those sheets hand over the damaged sheets to qa for archival in such cases a duplicate can be obtained from otherwise require personnel with justification attach all the in process test slips intermediate test results and final product report review at production for completeness of the data before submitting to qa department for final review and approval all the related raw material indent slips in process test result slips intermediate reports deviation reports if any final product reports 
should be reviewed individually against the BPR. Confirm that everything is satisfactorily done before submitting the BPR to QA for final review and approval. Please note that unless all these documents are submitted, submitted to QA, further review of the process cannot start. I hope that you understood well the process of recording data in a BPR on Shuffler. Try to incorporate all these salient features into your SOP. Thanks for watching. For more videos, please do subscribe, like and share. Thank you.